All right, welcome back. Let's talk about the state of right to repair. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of an update. So you remember back in November mm -hmm. when Apple announced their self-service repair program. They talked yes. about making all these kits for you to be able to do, what was it, screen, battery, camera or something like that? I forget if they said exactly what it was, but it was like some, I, I can only Official always parts. Use, yeah, official parts, screen and battery are usually the main things. I'm still yeah. not sure about camera. That seems really complicated. Sort of like the, yeah, the full module, yeah. high level stuff. We haven't heard a lot about that since then. We were very excited. It seemed like a win for right to repair, but if you sort of follow up on that, it seems like it hasn't really made a whole lot of progress maybe. Yeah, and the, there's a couple things that made us think about this. One is Brandon just cracked the back of his iPhone. This was a great, and then what happened? And then he asked them about the self-service repair and the person at the store had no idea what he was talking about. It's an anecdote, but it's kind of a It's very anecdotal, indicator. but yes. Um, yeah. Strange. And then we also have seen recently in other news on the other side of the stage um, that Google and Samsung have partnered with iFixit recently yeah. to start offering ways to repair your phone. I thought that was really interesting. I, I really like iFixit. Like I love iFixit. And what they do, what they've already done is they've had like a certain set of like, you can buy a tool set and you can buy the, the certain like a Penelope screw yeah. or whatever other pent to something screws to be able to take apart whatever phone you have. Uh -huh. You know, you pry the screen off, get the glue open. But they're going to actually partner with iFixit to offer kits with official parts of older devices so you can buy the kit for your phone yep. and repair whatever is broken. Pretty yeah. cool. Uh, what do we see? It's going to be well, down to Google offering as old as Pixel 2 parts. That I love. Yeah, Google just jumped on. Samsung jumped on already. Google's going to go down to the Pixel 2. Mm -hmm. Samsung only says around S20. Okay. Um we also have a little view into what this might entail because they weren't, uh, I don't know if they were official parts, but it, I looked on iFixit's website and they actually have old S8 battery kits um, or screen kits, I forget. And um, it's kind of neat because the iFixit kit we have is they're like full blown, like you can fix almost anything with this. Mm -hmm. um, they're old kits for the S8. It came with a couple, just the tools you needed for that specific repair. Yeah. So you're not spending a bunch of extra money. You're getting the part and you're getting the pieces you need. And then what I fix it is, is like a giant free manual repair uh, instructions, I guess, and like videos and how to be able to do it and to make you feel comfortable being able to do it. Yeah. Um, so they're really awesome with that. Um, it seems like we're not totally sure what we're going to be able to fix between both of them. Um, Samsung apparently glues their batteries to screens, so that's kind of weird. Hmm. Um, so th people think if you have to replace one, you're going to have to replace both right. because of that, or that the part will most likely include a battery glued to a screen. Okay. So somehow you manage to, you know, have a really bad battery, and then you also break the screen, you're in luck. That's probably going to be way easier to uh, economically to repair, yeah. and, but it's going to probably cost more. Interesting. Uh, and then for Pixel, it looks like we have like battery and screens. I mean, I think most of these things are what we would want it's, to fix at home. Yeah. Typically, you don't do the most complex part repairs solo, mm -hmm. but the simpler ones, you don't want to have to rely on like, oh, I need to send my phone away for two weeks while someone just yeah. fixes a cracked screen. Like, I can do that myself. So offering the simple ones is a good step. Mm -hmm. If I do crack my screen, I do have a bit of a crack on my, I don't do have it here, the Pixel 6 Pro. Um, it's not a crack, actually. It's a deep scratch that is dangerously close to being a crack, but it's a deep oh, scratch really? right now. So I, I'm keeping an eye on it, but that's the type of thing you want to be able to do yourself. Well, so And batteries and screens are clearly the most common as well. So yeah. it's lucky that those are the ones. Um, They did say that they won't be offering like full-blown boards to uh, not change surprised. things in there, which, yeah, it, that's not something we're going to really be expecting because those are super complicated and obviously not as... It's hard to even diagnose whether that's the issue with the phone or not, True. where a screen is obviously a broken screen and a battery is an issue with turning it on or holding a charge, so that's much yeah. easier. And on top of this, Microsoft and Valve are also apparently in working with iFixit to offer spare parts as well for things like the Steam Deck, which we just covered, yep. which is awesome. And Steam has been really good about talking about how like this will be repairable. This will be something that you can dive into and get yeah. into the inners of it. And then Surface Laptops as well. Um, nice. Yeah. You I think see it's... the story? I had a tidbit about this in the review, but apparently okay. the Steam Deck, if you open it up, 
Mm-hmm. I mean, there's it's weighted pretty well, and they fill up like the grips with a lot of stuff. But there's enough room in one of the grips to fit an entire air tag. I did see that actually. So yeah, you can open it up, put an air tag in there, and close it and use it like normal. It yeah. might feel a little off balance by the weight of an air tag. Oh, Not man. so bad. Yeah. But that is your lost and found feature if you happen to want to do that. I'm rant side here now because we're up, but like I'm so excited for what people are going to do with the Steam Deck. I think we had a ton of fun with it, but neither of us are really handheld gamers. So like I don't think we got to even get close to seeing what people are going to unlock. In like two years, the modding community behind this thing, especially when the dock comes out, yeah, it's gonna be really, really. It's already cool. getting started. I still wish the USB C port was on the bottom, but mm-hmm. I get because you've seen the dock with the renders are. Yeah, it's just gonna the be dock. like a cable up to the top mm-hmm. to plug it in, and then you dock it. Whatever. But yes, there's it's a stand with a fancy right angle cable. Exactly. Yeah. But it's got a lot. You're right. It's got a lot going for it at, right at the beginning already. Sort of what I talked about at the end of the video. But yeah, the Steam Deck has a future ahead of it, which is really exciting for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, right to repair is is sort of on the like come up all the time. I feel like we always have something new we're looking forward to seeing from some company. Uh, but yeah, th- those two specifically with Google and Samsung, I really like, and I hope I actually get to like use one. I, I mean, I th- it's really awesome. We've also talked about an idea for like a studio channel video where we potentially like race to fix a phone because I don't think okay. any of us have fully like replaced a screen or a battery. Right? It's tough to get. Well, I have. I ha- only have because you? only for a video. But yes, like the when we took about the, we took apart the, the red we iPhone. Put it back together to work though. It works. Yes. Did it? Oh, and I also, it up. to sh- sorry, uh, interrupt on here. One of the things they will also include is the the like. OEM rubber gaskets for waterproofing and stuff like that, which is nice. huge because when you do stuff by yourself without OEM parts, that's basically, you're basically turning your phone into not being IP rated unless you're very good at it. And they even, some of the companies even said like, you should probably replace those every couple of years because they get worn hmm. out. So yeah. that's also really, really cool. Um, we have talked about right to repair in the past. And I think a couple things actually moving forward in terms of lawmaking Mm-hmm. is what might be finally pushing this. We saw the we talked about repairability scores in France. That's a really big thing and they actually did a report out there that said like 60 to 80% of people if they saw repairability scores, they would pick the phone whether they were part of that phone ecosystem or not. Would pick the one with the better repairability score. So all other things equal, they'd pick the phone with the better repairability score. Because that's not always true about, like, you can't always apples to apples phones no, like that. I think it was a little better than that. I think it was, the the survey question was, if you had been using one phone for a long time, but mm-hmm. in the option of picking a new phone, you saw the better repairability score than the phone you were used to, they would pick the one with the better repairability score. Sure. So still probably similar price ranges and stuff like that. There's yeah. obviously reasons to potentially buy something. Yeah, just because I remember, you know, when I talked about repairability, like we noticed that the more repairable something is, it's built different. Mm-hmm. Like well, you can go, you can go all the way to the top 10 out of 10 and you get a fair phone. Yeah. But are people going to go to the 10 out of 10 and exactly. get a fair phone? Or are they going to go to the 5 out of 10 and get something that they like more? Yeah, or... So. That's there's there's all sorts of sliders to play with for these companies making phones, but I like yeah. that that's being highlighted. Mm-hmm. And I think the U.S. is also they've been recently adding some bills that have right to repair things inside of them because we also uh, here have a lot of stuff with like tractors and stuff as well, and a lot of fights oh, for right to repair yeah. there. So I'm sure some of these companies are starting to see the writing on the wall that this might happen. So. Get, get ahead, ahead of the of game while you can. Yeah. Good for all of us. Um, great for iFixit. Not because they're partnering, but just because they've been fighting for this for so Does long. Does iFixit need competition? I mean, I love iFixit, I'm but every, sh- everyone needs competition, right? Maybe there uh, yeah, should be- Yeah, everyone uh, needs competition. I wonder if there is some. I, I'm more giving them credit because they've been fighting this fight for a really, Absolutely. really long time. Absolutely. And we appreciate that. Sick. All right, thanks for watching. That'll do it. Yeah. Which should we tail slate? Yeah, we'll tell Slate. Go ahead, tell Slate. That was a good episode. Yeah, that was pretty good. I can't wait to drive that DeLorean. Yeah, let's go get it. I can't believe people are going to have to wait till August for that thing. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep that one a secret. Well, let's just not drive it in public roads yet.